Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Prophetess Renita out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm getting ready to teach about Ezekiel and how God dropped him in the valley of dry bones and he began to tell him to prophesy to the people. So if you're interested in this particular passage, I want you to stay connected as I get ready to teach the word. Stay connected. Amen. Thank you for staying connected. So let us go directly into the word of the Lord. I am going to be reading from Ezekiel 37, starting at verse 1. We're talking about the valley of the dry bones. It Hand says that the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers and the doers of his word on today. I pray that God bless this word as I begin to release unto you. Amen. We're talking about Ezekiel here and how God dropped him in the midst of the valley of the dry bones. And it also said that these people right here, they were basically spiritually dead, meaning that they needed a word from God to come through and resuscitate them. So that is why he told Ezekiel to go and prophesy to the people. And Ezekiel began to prophesy unto the people, meaning that he preached unto the people. And sometimes that is what we need when we are dry in our spirit, when we are spiritually dead. We need a word from heaven. We need a word to drop down in our spirit to do what? To resuscitate us. Sometimes we need to be brought back because sometimes we can allow the enemy to come through and have us to be in the dead place where we are spiritually dead. I begin to see in this passage right here that they lost all hope. You know, it said that they were dispirited. They they lost all the enthusiasm that they had. They, they had no faith. It means that they were really just down in their spirits, their mind. So therefore, they needed a word from the Lord to come through and strengthen them. And sometimes that is what we need because a lot of times we can be in critical condition and don't even know it. So that that is why it's very vital that we hear a word and we take heed to the word, the prophecy that is going forth. God just wants to revive us. He wants to save us from ourselves. A lot of times sin can have us caught up in these things where we begin to die out spiritually. The word comes to resuscitate us. It comes to help us. It comes to bring us back to life. And God is just trying to give us life. That's all God is trying to do. He's trying to give us life. Okay, so let us look at Ezekiel verse 7. It says, so I prophesy as I was commanded. Remember, Ezekiel was commanded to do this. Do this. He said that as I prophesied, he said there was a noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together bone to bone. Meaning that when he began to preach, when he began to give them the word of the Lord, everything began to come together. You know that I guess they got revived in their spirit, you know, because a lot of times when we hear the word of the Lord, that's what it comes to do. It, it, it revives us. It refreshes us. It gives us hope. Remember, we need hope. And that is why our faith needs to come up to part so we can know and we can feel these things in our spirit 
spirit. That is what we need, people. We need hope. We need faith. We need our faith to come up to part. The dry bones were symbolizing the whole uh, house of Israel. It was uh, symbolizing that whole house. And it said that the Holy Ghost was symbolizing the bread. The Holy Ghost is the one that brings renewal. It brings regeneration. You know, it gives a rebirth in this thing. That is why we need the Holy Ghost. Yes, we do. We need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Spirit of God because the Holy Spirit will bring all things to your remembrance. It will help you start remembering things. The Holy Ghost can be anything that you need him to be a mother, a father. He's a guidance. He's a keeper. That is why we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Remember, we welcome the Holy Spirit. Always yield and welcome the Holy Spirit to guide you in your spiritual walk. You're going to need him. What I love about Ezekiel he didn't doubt God and he was not, he didn't limit God in what he can do. His faith in God was so strong. And that's why he asked the question and he began to answer and say, God, only you know that these dry bones can live. Only God knows. God knows the heart of people. He knows everything about us. But right now we are trying to get these faith levels up the part. We're trying to stop being dead in our spirit because we can be so spiritually dead and not even know it, not even just understanding what is happening to us. That is where the enemy had to come in and begin to mess with your mind. So we have to be renewed in our minds right now. We have to hear the word of the Lord. Remember, faith come by hearing and hearing by what? The word of the Lord. So we need more of the word to come in and do what? Increase our faith. We need our faith to be increased as believers. Don't be weak in your faith. No, get your faith level up to par. Yes. And we as believers, we need to be alert. We need to be on guard at all times because the enemy, we already know that he's seeking that very one whom he can devour. So let us be on guard. Let us stand firm in our faith faith and on the word of the Lord. Remember the word is what we're standing on today. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge. This is what we need in our, in our lives as we continue to walk on with the Lord. We need more of him. We need more of the word. We cannot get enough of the word. We just need more and more. The more we hear that word, the more our faith is going to be built. The more we can be cleansed, the more we can walk according to the word of the Lord, the more we can believe the prophecies that God has for us. Come on now. As I get ready to close, I want to leave a few of these scriptures with you. Um, Proverbs 8 and 35, it says, for whosoever finds wisdom, finds life and draws forth and obtains favor from the Lord. Okay. Um, St. John 6, 47 and 48, I believe. I assure you most solemnly, I tell you, he who believes in me, who adheres to, trusts in, relies on, and has faith in me, has now possessed eternal life. I am the bread of life that gives life the living bread. He is the bread of life. I'm telling you, when he told Ezekiel to prophesy to the people, he knew that the bones were going to live. When we hear the word of the prophecy, when we hear the word of the Lord, it comes to and bring us to life. It brings life to the people. <laughs> now that you've heard the word, increase your faith. Get in the word more and more. Draw closer to God and he'll draw closer to you because you want to keep your faith alive. I am Prophetess Renita. I just wanted to come in once again just to break bread with you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you will know my next upload. Bye-bye. Be encouraged.